This is the example on slide 90 of our chapter 14 PowerPoint. And here, um, we've moved a little bit beyond the calculations. Um, and here we're concerned with being able to balance um, neutralization reactions between an acid or a base. So here they're asking us to balance the equation for the neutralization of HCl, hydrochloric acid, and BaOH2, barium hydroxide. So when writing these equations, um, this is a type of double displacement or double replacement where an acid plus a base is going to make water plus salt. That's going to happen every time we have a neutralization reaction with at least strong acids and strong bases. So we're going to identify our acid, obviously, is HCl, starts with an H. Therefore, that means that our base is, so not sodium, sorry, barium hydroxide. So what's actually happening here is we're swapping partners. We're doing square dancing. So the negative ion of our acid, that's the chlorine, is going to go with the positive ion of our base. And um, so these guys, I guess I'll draw a little arrows there. Um, these guys are going to go together, and that means the positive ion of our acid is going to go with the negative ion of our base. So currently, ignore the subscript on the hydroxide when H and OH. Combine HOH, what's another way to write that? H2O. And to BA and CL are going to combine. Barium has a 2 plus charge, chlorine has a minus 1 charge. So therefore, my formula is going to be BACL2 because I need two chlorines to balance that one barium. So I can write. HCl, which is aqueous, plus barium hydroxide, which is also aqueous, form, move that over a bit, H2O, which is a liquid, and barium chloride, which is also aqueous. So now the last thing we need to do is make sure that this equation is balanced. Um, and spoiler alert, it's not balanced, so we're going to have to balance it. So I'm going to look at my chlorides first. I have two chlorides over here, one over here, so that means I need two in front of my H. And now I'm going to count up barium, both have one. Um, hydrogen, we have two HCl's and two hydrogens from the hydroxide on the reactant side. So that's a total of four. We only have two on the product side. So that means I'm going to put a two in front of my H2O. So now if I count up two hydrogens and two hydrogens, so we got four H's on this side, two from here, two from here, um, we got two CLs, one barium, and a total of two oxygens. And now on the product side, we have four H's, two O's, two CLs, and one barium. So we are balanced. And this is your final answer.